It's a Christmas thief. There's a Grinch amongst us. Ah, uh, this is serious. Okay, hello. I got a new water bottle. It's taking some getting used to. You have to press a button for the little opening to open. Almost like, like a little gerbil feeding tube water spout. Why did I buy this? Speaking of life changes, the new empty house tour went out on my main channel. I was so excited to put that video out and everyone's being so nice in the comments and supportive as always. It's just a big life moment. I mean, not only have I been waiting to share with you guys for so long, we've just been waiting for so long to actually, ugh. We've just been waiting forever to just like get the keys to close on the house all of that and it finally happened We're gonna actually move in in January. I am so 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 excited if you missed that video It's on my main channel I was kind of conflicted whether I should put it on my vlog channel or my main channel because it feels like a vlog But in the future since I'm planning a channel merge anyway and the vlogs and the main channel videos are all gonna be in one place Fingers crossed. I like I kind of feel like I'll believe it when I see it, but that is the plan right now I'm just so excited and I'm excited that you guys are excited. We're all excited together. It's a big moment. And this was just kind of like an emotional roller coaster of a week. Gotta cover up those spots. I've been breaking out like crazy since last last week and it just has not slowed down. Like intense breakouts that do not want to go away. And it's all like hormonal stuff. So I have been eating a lot of candy but I'm pretty sure it's all hormonal stuff. So yeah, a lot of exciting stuff happening, a lot of exciting breakouts, <laughs> and a lot of stuff to be really, really grateful for, a lot of exciting stuff to share, but obviously last weekend's vlog was not exciting to share. I do feel like it was, you know, big news, but it was difficult to share, and I just wanted to take a second and say thank you to you guys for all of your supportive comments, everyone that said they've been through the same thing or even just something similar and it's just it's just really encouraging and probably even more supportive than you even realize. I don't know, I don't want to make this ugh, every time. <laughs> if I could hold something, that would be great. Uh, I don't want to make this like a whole long drawn out thing because if you watched last week, that was a whole long drawn out thing. It was a very long story. I was very rambly and honestly, it was just, I don't know. I process things by talking about it um you know obviously i can think about things until i'm blue in the face but i don't feel truly feel like i know how i feel completely like in a complete way until i talk about it i know that's weird or like write about it that also really helps but i do really like to talk it out and talking to you guys about everything was really helpful for me i do feel very hopeful and very excited for the future and it's Christmas, <laughs> so that definitely helps. You know what I mean? Like, who can be sad on Christmas? Probably everybody, but we're totally done gift shopping. I need to finish wrapping. I'm gonna do that in a little bit today. Um, we have a lot going on today, sort of, and we're just trying to get everything ready to go to Houston because we're gonna be going to Houston for Christmas. I'm so excited to go. I'm so excited to see my family. <sighs> the next few weeks are gonna be pricey, but I'm excited. It's all good things. All right, looks like the gang's all here. And I just got all of my supplies to make rodeo nuts. Uh, last night, I got the grand idea to make rodeo nuts. It's something that my mom used to make and they're just basically like candied pecans covered in brown sugar and vanilla. They're super, super healthy. And to me, they're pretty Christmassy and also extremely Texan. And I thought it would be nice to send these to Grant's dad because he's actually not coming back to Texas for the holidays. And so I thought it'd be nice to send a little bit of Texas to him. Last night I called my mom for the recipe and she couldn't find it. And she was also in the middle of cooking because my little sister and her husband and my older sister and her husband, everyone's already there at my parents' house. So she was in the middle of directing traffic. But I found one online that looks extremely similar and hopefully it comes out the same. It also looks pretty easy, but also I've never made something like this. Pretty much just crossing my fingers here. Hopefully it comes out. Are you gonna help me? Oh yeah. Uh-oh. My little group of cutesy Christmas over here just keeps growing and growing and growing. My latest addition 
this gal right here, a new Evelyn. Ain't she pretty? She's a big lady. I love her. She's healthy. She is the most festive of them all. Look at her. Ooh. Honestly, it's getting a little out of hand, but that's not what we're thinking about right now. We are thinking about rodeo guys. Okay, we've got our white sugar, brown sugar, cinnamon, salt, and half a cup of water. Get it going. With the gravy. This is some good gravy, girl. Apparently this step is just stirring and stirring and stirring until you cannot stir anymore. More sugar. I think I did something wrong here. <laughs> said there should be a wallflower scent like that, and I agree. That was awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Hago Man. Cameraman, here we go. <laughs> da, na, 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 na. That's Grant's go-to song for it. Any moment he needs to like hum a song or add music to a situation, graduation song. No questions asked. It's a classic. <laughs> Get out of here, girl. Go. Come on. Come on. Am I hurting your feelings? Because you know that toy is for you. It's not. It's not for you. Okay, so while the rodeo nuts cool, because we need to resist the urge to try them, I'm going to wrap some presents. I've had all of my gift shopping done for so long. Actually, I feel like this is like a record year for me and I'm very proud of myself, but the wrapping has not happened. A lot of wrapping has happened, but I've been just doing it in my spare time. There hasn't been like a devoted time. And actually now isn't even a devoted time. I just feel like I need to get it done. So I'm gonna wrap as much as I can right now but there's probably gonna be more tomorrow. Also, Luna saw this girl right here, the cutest thing in the world, oh my gosh. It's like a little panda lady with accessories and a cape and like blush. Is this not the cutest thing in the world? This is part of Georgetta's Christmas gift. Obviously it's not for Georgetta, it's for her baby because she's arriving really soon and I could not resist getting more baby stuff and Luna saw me take this out of the box and she was like, oh, you got me a Christmas present early. Thank you so much. And I had to like convince her to get away from it, but it took like a lot of convincing for her to even leave the room because she was just like, that's mine. I know it's mine. <laughs> is for Luna Bean. She is gonna be obsessed with this. She loves blankets more than anything in life. And this is just like, this is gonna be everything to her. It's a dorm blanket. She's going to college, so it's gonna be perfect. I am driving like I've never driven before right now. I'm going to get my lashes filled and I never get my lashes filled on the weekend, uh, but it's just what I had to do because it's the holidays and my regular lash person has been out for the past couple of weeks, few weeks, it's been a while. So I've actually been having major issues with my lashes and I haven't talked about it yet because I'm basically in denial. I wish that it wasn't happening, but it is. And I think I'm gonna have to stop getting lashes after years and years of lashes, like a serious, major addiction to lashes. Like it just makes my makeup routine so much easier. I like them so much. They're curled. My natural lashes aren't curled, but I think I have to break up with them, but I don't want to do it right now, right before the holidays, right before I'm going to be out of town. So I don't know. I'll talk to you more about it once I'm done because I am a little bit late. So I need to go. Okay, I'm back home. It looks like I've been crying for a year. I need to fix my concealer really bad because we had to do a whole lash bath thing. I don't know, I'll explain it all to you in a second. Oh my gosh, this is so bright right now. We need to do a taste test because these things are, <laughs> are you excited? <laughs> is that an excited dance? My Christmas nut These are completely cooled and we need to package them up and get them ready to ship out to 
tomorrow because time is uh time is up we're not going to be getting them in by christmas but i think it's okay all right so we're gonna do a little sample when they get home i think they're excellent i think you did a wonderful job these are they taste like they came out of a confectionery that sounds very scripted grant <laughs> you're gonna try a little more i'm gonna try a little more too just, this one's just stuff no nut no nut <laughs> just stuff just stuff it's excellent they're pretty I love good it. I they're love pretty it. good i don't feel like yeah. they're quite as good as my mom's but i think they're okay be a real shame if he's got lost in the mail <laughs> <laughs> Well, they're actually really easy to make. I I want to eat more. I just almost went for another one. I was really nervous about how they were going to come out, but I think they're good. Thank you. Jesus. Yeah, like this. It's like gravel. <laughs> Merry Christmas. A woman. <laughs> the lighting is so bad in this room right now, and what I'm about to do it's horrifying. I have to put concealer over makeup that's been there all day. Not a good move, not professional. It's gonna look crusty and gross, but it's kind of okay because we're about to go out to eat and then we're gonna go to Six Flags. We're going to Holiday in the Park. We wanted to do it last Friday, but you guys know what happened last Friday and that was just not an option. But we didn't get to go last year and we just wanna go. I know it's gonna be corny and it's gonna be cold, but we just really want to go because we're kind of corny if you haven't noticed and it's very on brand for us so we're gonna go do that tonight anyway i never get my lashes filled on the weekends ever but i had gone a really long time without getting them filled because i kind of thought this is the end of the road with me and lashes i've had them for years i'm completely addicted they make my makeup routine so much easier and i'm gonna be so sad when i have to get them off and not get them back on but in the last month or so my eyes or my eyelids have started to react to the glue that they use with the lash extensions and so we've tried a bunch of different things we've done like the sensitive glue doing like a lash bath which is what we did today which is what ruined my concealer completely and even though we've tried all these different things that are supposed to help the reaction that apparently even if you've been doing it for years you can just develop a reaction or a sensitivity and it's not necessarily a, an allergic reaction but it's kind of like an allergic reaction so what happens for me is i get my lashes done one day and then the next day i wake up and my lids are swollen and they stay swollen for like i don't know half a day or like sometimes a full day and then after that they get kind of like this is gross they get kind of like dry and a little bit flaky which is disgusting and when you're wearing makeup or if you want to wear eyeshadow like forget about it it's not gonna look good obviously that cannot be good for my eyes and nothing we're doing is helping and it's nothing on the girl that does my lashes she does a really good job and actually i've been going to somebody different because she's been out for a couple of weeks so that's my situation have any of you ever been through that with lash extensions like some people like the very first time they ever get them they have a bunch of swelling and they know they're like allergic they can't get them again and it's just like sorry lash extensions are not for you but i've been getting them for years and then suddenly reaction so i'm just gonna have to let it go and i'm so sad about it i really don't want to but I got them redone again today because we're going out of town and then going out of town again. It might be like new year, new me, no lashes. <laughs> new year, worse me. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to it, obviously. I need to go. We are in a hurry. Ooh, festive. They can't see you dancing. They're not missing much. They're missing everything. What are you talking about? That's true. That's true. Oh, really?
are back at the house. It's Sunday. We're just waiting here for a minute because Grant's mom and stepdad are coming over to see the house. They've come throughout the process a couple of times, but they haven't seen it finished yet. And so we're just gonna show them around and everything. And then I think we might install a fixture too. I'm not really sure. Oh, I guess it's already happening. I did not even notice Grant was standing on the island behind me. I'm really excited for them to see everything now that it's done. Um, my lashes do not seem to have caused such a bad reaction as they have in the past, especially last time. I looked like a bullfrog last time. My lids were so swollen, it was awful. I mean, they're super full right now. Like right after I get a fill, they look like whoa, major mega lashes. But after a few days, they start to thin out a little bit and they look a little bit more wispy. And that's like my favorite time with my lashes. Love, hate relationship. Are you ready for Christmas? Yeah. Can't wait to open all those prezzies. I got a bro. lot of presents. Well, we're gonna do stockings tonight. We're gonna do stockings tonight and I think we might open a couple of presents just so we don't have to take as many presents to my parents' house. Yeah. I had to ship one of his gifts to my parents' house because it told me it wouldn't be able to get there until the 23rd, but it already shipped. This so is your big present. To decide. I don't know, your big present. And this one, I went totally out on, out on a limb. He did not tell me he you. wanted this. Uh. I totally just came up with it on my own. He might not think it's like something he wants at all, which I'm a little bit nervous about, but we'll see. Because I am totally all about the life of like having a note in my phone and like gathering ideas for gifts at all times for all people just to make it easy, honestly. Like it sounds like I'm just being like a really nice, thoughtful person, but really it's selfish because I don't want to get bad gifts and I want it to be easy. <laughs> it's both, okay? And I like shopping for gifts, but I also want to feel confident in my gift. There's like gift anxiety. Anxiety. There can be. I mean, if you got yeah. something for somebody and you're like, I don't, I don't know, know. I don't know. I respect your gifts. You are? Yeah. Okay, I'm really looking forward to it now. <laughs> you're really looking forward to it now? We'll see. We'll Ooh, see. my arm is getting tired. Okay, I'm back home. We're both back home. Um, after we were at the house with Grant's mom and stepdad and we exchanged a few gifts, um, that was really great to show them the house and everything. Um, I went and got my polish changed. I didn't have time to get a pedicure. I didn't really want to wait and get a pedicure. I'm so impatient. Like, I know it's supposed to be like a relaxing, luxurious experience, but like, if I can skip it, I will skip it. And I skipped it and I got a polish change and they look so much better. Okay, I think I have just like one or two more presents to wrap and then it'll be absolutely done, which is amazing because it's actually the dead last deadline. Like I, I have no more time. So I have to get it done now. And then after that, we need to pack. I need to pack. I hate packing. Packing is like my worst enemy, but I'm actually excited to pack today because I'm excited to go back to Houston. I'm excited for Christmas. Um, also tonight we're going to open stockings and I think we might open a couple of presents. I don't know. We haven't completely decided. We'll see what happens. I got to do these presents first. I actually feel like it needs more red or more green or just basically more color, but we're just going to finally done. I have a sneaking feeling that I'm forgetting something, but obviously there were a lot of moving parts happening this year. We've got a lot of presents under the tree. We've got a lot of stuff to take with us. It's all very exciting and I really wish I had done this a lot, a lot sooner. <laughs> I love this tree so much. I'm trying to just like soak in all the memories of what our Christmas looks like here in this house because really these are basically like our last moments in this house and definitely our last Christmas. All right, let's go see what Grant's doing. Uh oh, we getting fancy. Hello. I like everything I'm seeing here. All these boots. Girl. I just came downstairs to find Grant frantically searching through the gifts and thief. saying that- Somewhere in this house, it's stealing Christmas presents. <laughs> he said, 
Your Christmas presents are missing. The Christmas presents that I got you are not here. And then he found one that said, for Grant from Mary and Truby J. And I was like, remember Grant, remember when you didn't really want to use labels at the beginning of your wrapping? And he's like, oh yeah. And he looked at it and it was for me. What's this one? This one's for you. And there's still one missing? There's still one missing. Hmm. Could it be downstairs? No, I brought them both up here. I brought two packages up here and I put them on that side, I thought. It's a Christmas thief. There's a Grinch amongst us. Ah, uh, this is serious. <laughs> this is a real Looney problem. Bean, did you do it? Did you look at that one? This one says it's from you. That's why I don't want to look in there. I just convinced Grant that that is one that I saw him bringing up here. But the label says to Grant from Leanne. And he was like, I don't want to look in it. I don't want to ruin it. But I just looked at the card and I could tell that's last year, Leanne. <laughs> Why didn't you want to write the labels? I don't know, I'm stupid. <laughs> Grant is just frantically on the floor looking through the gifts, moving everything around. All right, is it time, Luna Bean? Looks like Luna's is the most stuffed of them all. Yeah, Santa loves Looney Beans. There's one thing that I got you for your stocking that didn't fit. <laughs> so I put it under the tree. <laughs> Come on, Miss Beans. She knows. This one's for her. Oh, look. Look at Luna. Give me that stuff. Just come here, Looney Beans. Come get your stocking. Are you freaking out, man? Just get it out. You got some treats. Oh yeah, these seem pretty exciting. Do you want to try one? Sit down. Sit, Lou. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, she's there gone. There she goes. She's going upstairs with it. So that bag of treats, I actually bought for her stocking. Other than that, her stocking is full of everything from her bark box this month because, I mean, she doesn't know the difference. But she's got a couple of toys and another bag of treats a new nutcracker, and then this is the uh, sugar plum fairy, and I think she's gonna be obsessed with this. Okay, do you wanna go? No, you can. Ooh! What about this booty beans? She just wants the chocolate that Grant has. <laughs> not gonna happen, Luna. We're not gonna kill you today. Come here, come here, Luna. Rejected, my gift has been rejected. Luna, look what's in here. Look, this, look at this. Look at this. What about this? She doesn't care. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, sorry about that. There was some technical difficulties. The card ran out of space. I didn't really notice, and we opened the stockings. Everything was amazing. Grant went all out. I got a new fragrance I am obsessed with. Whispers in the library. I was hoping he got me that, but I didn't think it was gonna happen. Now we're just gonna open a couple of presents. Um, by the time you watch this, it'll probably be Christmas Eve, I think. So I hope you guys have a wonderful Christmas and a happy holiday, happy new year. I don't really know what my vlog schedule is gonna be coming up. Oh, I guess Luna does like her toys now. Hmm, plot twist. Anyway, thanks, I love you, bye.